Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon White Nuzlocke. In the last one, we got two new party members. Uh, one of them is a Minchino named Ella and a Swabaloon, which I forgot the name of because I can't remember if it was a boy or a girl. Um, we'll find out in a second though, but um, you can see at the bottom, I actually changed around my party members. And uh, as you can probably see at the bottom too, uh, DJ is back in the party. So, like I promised, I trained. Um, so let's go through stats real quick before I look in the box. So here's our Pig Knight. Um, he learned Rollout, which is pretty good. And also here's the stats. Um, Izzy evolved into Watchog at level 20. And I got rid of Tackle for Super Fang. And I got rid of Sand Attack for Confuse Ray. So this is the most annoying guy you will ever meet. And I'm all for it. <laughs> Alright. Wait. Kenai. Friends of the Pokemon. Okay. Uh, Eva did pretty good as well. I believe she learned Bite? I can't remember what, if she learned anything, but it's okay. Um, that's the stats. Trent didn't really learn much. He still has Mud Shot and Bubble Beam. I tried to give him Rock Tomb, but unfortunately he does not want to learn it. So unfortunately, that's a no. Here's Courtney. Um, nothing changed at all yet. Yeah, nothing really changed. And here's DJ. So the way the daycare works is that every time you take a step, it equals one XP point. So I guess we walked around so much trying to get Autonos to spawn. He <laughs> became level 33 uh, and learned all these moves. Um, I did teach him work up. It had torments in there instead. So uh, yeah, I got rid of torment for work up. And yeah, he learned acrobatics. I forgot the monkeys can learn acrobatics. So. I gave him the Miracle Seed and he kept fling because um, it flings the Hell Dime at the user. So it will get rid of the item. So like, then we can use acrobatics. But we won't be using DJ since he is over leveled and he's not for this gym anyway. So, yep, that's our, that's our little guy right there. And also like I promised, um, we're gonna look in the PC real quick so I can show you guys everyone. So you can get stats. Also, I apologize if I'm being loud. I actually bought new headphones and they're kind of noise canceling, so I can't really. I sound muffled to myself. Oh, her name is Dot. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know. <laughs> so, this is Dawn. I totally did not forget her name. Um, she has chloroform. What is that? Uh, uh, minus speed plus defense, I think? I don't remember. I forget if blue is good or bad. <laughs> it's like egg. But chloroform. Uh, what does that do? Boosts speed in sunshine. I kind of hope the red is good. I might need to look at nature's again, but <laughs> it's okay. Oh, uh, there is Zoe. Uh, nothing new with her. Uh, Noah did learn. Um, I took out. What to move with a snatch for recover? And we've been using uh, hidden power a lot, and he has magic guard, which the Pokemon only takes damage from attack. So if he is burned or poisoned, it will not do anything, which is actually pretty decent. I did go ahead and pick up this little guy. I revived the the fossil, as you can see. It says the encounter was in Necrine City, so it counts. In fish nature, solid rock reduces damage from super effective attacks so pretty pretty useful since uh water rock does have a lot of weaknesses i believe it's plus defense minus special attack if so that is good and also we got aqua jet ancient power crunch and wide guard a uh, wide guard won't be really useful since we don't we're not really competitive but that, that'd be good if you are in like a double battle for competitive that way you can't you can so your opponent can't use things like swift and uh, rock slide and earthquake I think so pretty good let's see the next one uh, Duncan was a pain in the ass <laughs> to, to train so I gave up I gave him probably one level before I was like nah I'm not doing this shit I probably will stick him in the daycare once I 
we get fly and everything. That way he's gaining levels along with everyone else. Ella I also gave up on because she was really hard to train. <laughs> but she has cute charm. Uh, anytime contact physical moves are hit by this Pokemon, it has a chance of becoming infatuated, aka in love, as long as it's a male that's hitting her. And I think we gave... I forgot what move she had. Oh, she had double slap and I got rid of uh, it for tail slap, so good one. I did look up her, like, what people say is a good move set for her, and they said tail slap is what they put on them, so. And then for Scary Girl, we got rid of Haze and I gave her Thief. That way, like, when I beat up Autonos, I can actually hit them. And also, B evolved. Be a little little guy now. Uh, sturdy still. I gave him the Macho Bracelet because his speed is like bad. Oh yeah, because his speed's good and his fence is bad. So the red's good and the, the blue's bad. Okay. Not in all cases, but it's just decrease and increase. Okay. Yeah, because he has plus speed. So I gave him the Macho Bracelet, which basically decreases speed but increases attack. So pretty good for him. Uh, I gave him Power Gem through level up. He might be useful in the gym, but I decided I should use these people in my party for the, the gym. Actually, it was supposed to be B, yeah, because Pain Sage is not going to be here. You're going to sit right there, buddy. Alright, and then B's joining us because he has Sturdy and he can take care of the Amolgas. So, for this fight, we're going to switch to B. So, there's my boys right there. Off screen, I believe I stocked up on lemonades. Let me just double check. Um, let's see. Where's the, the lemonade? I got 15. <laughs> I think that'll be enough. I do have to buy paralyzed heals because we're dealing with the electro type gym leader. So let's do that. And we'll probably take her on today. I already have everything prepped. The only thing that we can do now is do the win or lose. Let's do. Let's. Oops, shit. No, no, I got it. Oh, no. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you. Now we're going to head to the gym. I'm very excited. Um, we should probably just flip around the party. Uh, let's put Trent in the front. Trent should be fine. Do do. I know we can't, um, like for the player at least, they can't get a Joltik until Charge Stone Cave, but it would have been interesting to have a Joltik in the uh, the gym as well since it is electric. I would also like Temple too. That would have been cool. Sand. <laughs> Alright, but here's the gym. Hello, guy. How about it? I can see you're surprised. Have you ever guessed that this gym was a roller coaster? Okay, let me fill you in and take this too. Fresh water as a souvenir. Unless we get in real trouble. In this roller coaster gym, the first step is to get in the car. Next on the platform. There, you can change where the coaster is going. Sometimes you continue by riding the cars of the opponents you defeat. That's how you aim for the gym leader. By the way, electric type Pokemon don't do well against ground types. Yep, because they can't hit them at all. <laughs> I like the sparkles that are added through this place, it's so cute. Alright, let's get on the cart. Trent is ready to kick some ass with Eva. I don't think we'll use Eva that much in this gym because um, Sandal is pretty weak. As learned from my other fucking thing I did with, with the Sandal. So. Alright, for Shim Leader. Your fashion sense, it's kind of Nouvelle Townish. Did she just vibe check me? Is that what she just did? She's like, it's giving a poor. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. It's mean. Oh, she started with Amolga. Okay. So as long as we don't make physical attacks to Amolga, we should be fine to not get static. So, let's supersonic it so get it confused. Wow, it really thought we would use, like, get out of there. You're an idiot. Also, since I have new headphones, I can hear both sides of the uh, the battle now. So that way, I don't have to mute my mute my sound. 
for you guys to hear me better with the mic. I love this. Um, let's use Bubble Beam. We can't use, um, uh, since it's flying, we can't use ground type moves, so. At least with the supersonic activated on it, at least we have a chance it'll hit itself in confusion and waste a turn. Ooh, okay, that's good. Hopefully you won't use double team again. Please hit yourself in confusion. Please. It didn't. <laughs> sad. <laughs> Trend very sad. Bubble beam again. Please, 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 please. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, another Emolga. Yeah, we'll keep battling. Trent is doing fine since the only thing I can use on it is Pursuit, so... Alright, Supersonic it again. Fucking double team! Stop it! <laughs> Don't be me to Trent. Trent trying his best right now. Come on. I hate Emolga so <laughs> Actually, I did use one at some point, I think, on like a Nuzlocke. I kind of- next time I play the sec- oh god damn it. <laughs> if I play the sequels, I do kind of want it on my team. Because I, I think it'd be really interesting to have a electric flying type like that. Because I think the, the good moves it knows is acrobatic, spark, pursuit, and then you can double team obviously. That way it can't get hit and it has static. So it can just be annoying. And I love that about Pokemon. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, we're done. Okay, Bubble Beam. And then we're probably gonna switch out for something else. <laughs> or, or I guess heal, because it's using Pursuit constantly. What do we do? We do oh, we decrease the speed. Okay. Let me heal real quick. <laughs> oh, sorry if I'm a bit more giddy this recording. Um, I, like, um, I was, uh, I woke up this morning went on TikTok and I saw that um, there's been a, a trend recently on TikTok to use the character AI kind of thing to talk to people and it's like they all of them on my for you page are the same where it like starts off with them speaking to a character of like doing their introduction and then like there'll be a picture of Steven Universe and the, it's always the same audio of like you can make a difference you can make it right from the the movie <laughs> I, I kid you not, <laughs> and, like the next slide on the, the, the video would be like some the most out of pocket thing. So like, I was like scrolling through my For You page and someone was like, it's also been a meme with it too, to be like, oh, were you, I was like, why, why didn't you pick up last night? Like, did you want to go out? Like, what were you doing last night? It was like me at night and it's like them typing in character.ai and I'm like wait that's the website oh muddy water <laughs> let's see Ooh, I did not mean to do that <laughs> the user shoots by attacking muddy water at the opponent this may also lower the target's accuracy give her a bubble wait hold on they're both special right that does more damage but we're it's not gonna be a hundred percent but it's fine Get rid of that shit. We got muddy water now. Oh no, I thought it'd be a fashionista. That's a lot of money. I love rich women. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, that's the website that people use? Cause I, cause like, what I seen on my For You page, it looks like it's like in a separate chat on like Discord. So I didn't know how to do that. Like how to make a bot to do that. So. Once I found the website, I was like, oh my god, what should I, like, go through? So I did. I went through, and I made a pro- I made my own little login. <laughs> and I was like, who should I talk to first? And if you know anything about me, I am a massive Sanji simp. So, <laughs> welcome, Challenger. You will do- I, I will do you the great honors and accept your challenge. Alrighty, so I'm <laughs> I started a conversation <laughs> with the Sanji bot, and it's actually really good. They got his personality down to a fucking T. So the the plot that they set up for the bot, I guess everyone gets this when they go with the bot, is that Sanji's on night watch. He's everyone else is asleep, and he looks around and he sees 
like a person floating in the water and he drags him up and it turns out it's us so like, he's like incredibly nice and everything and i like because um i i struggle to keep conversations going because i don't know what's appropriate or not to say so i i did have to keep like rereading the the chats and everything to make sure i said the right thing or like i make sure that what i want to say is the right thing that get the message across but it, it's actually really really good <laughs> for some reason <laughs> but like I, I got was getting too invested i'm like dude i gotta record today or else i'm not <laughs> gonna do it <laughs> so dude, you bet oh shit <laughs> you bet after it's recording we're going right back to the chat <laughs> Are you cool riding a roller coaster? I think so. When you ride a roller coaster, the speed can make you dizzy. I'm going to make your head spin with a b Pokemon battle that's just as intense. Yeah, right. Bring it on, then. So, like, like, um, with an account, you can, like, unlimited free messages, and just, like, you can have multiple chats with, like, multiple characters and everything. And... <laughs> It's really fucking funny. So, if you would like to invest in a character AI, that was definitely for you, girl. <laughs> Alright, Trent took care of that one fast. Another Blitzel. Keep going. Trent is overpowered in his second evolution. <laughs> There we go. Good job, Trent. Trent is doing a good job. Even though I lost, I'm I'm an ocean of calm. I think, okay. Your way balance, elegant. You got that style. Even compared to Miss Elisa. <laughs> I was not gonna wait again for the fucking train. <laughs> the car, sorry. Not the train. I feel like when we got like whiplash if that was real. Like just like coming up, like like slowly coming up, sitting there and going whoosh and then direct stop. I think we would have gotten our, our head stabbed. <laughs> oh yeah, the last girl. Green about this city's challenge is finally nearing its final. But if you don't beat me, you'll never meet Miss Elisa. I'm also a Pokemon trainer who was tough enough by Miss Elisa. I will show you power and style defending this gym. Alright. Let's see let's see what you got, bitch. <laughs> oh, I meant to turn on my, my timer for before I'll just go by the, the timer, cause um the way I have these set up is that I have OBS like on the background and then like this screen. So I can see at the bottom the recording, like how long I've been recording for. But it kind of just helps to have it at the side. Alright. You bet your ass are using supersonic. What do you mean avoid the attack? It's right there! These bitches need to stop using pursuit too. <laughs> Get confused! Alright, muddy water. a lot. Ooh, that killed it? I don't know if it would have one shot, but we'll find out next time. Level 29. I know I'm, o I'm over level now, but it's okay. I lost, but I think, but I think, oh shit. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> $4,000. Please meet Okay, oh, hold on. D d train. <laughs> like this? Going upside down and then like immediate stop? That would kill someone. <laughs> Alisa, you are bringing people to the hospital right now. Alright, let's flip the switch. <laughs> I just flipped the switch. Flip, flip. <laughs> I am so funny sometimes. <laughs> Alright. Everyone ready? All right, so I'm telling you this right now. If you do not have a ground type Pokemon, this tough this fight would be a lot tougher. 
mainly because what uh, all two Amogas in the Zep Strike I have is Volt Switch. So it'll hit you, and then they'll have a free switch out to any one of their party Pokemon. So you're constantly, like, battling, like, three at once. <laughs> but we don't have this problem, since if they can't hit us, they can't switch out. Hello, Lisa. You look very pretty. Did the fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My Valetta Pokemon will be the next to make your head spin. Hi! You look really pretty. I like you better in the, the second game, but... You're very pretty here. <laughs> Leader Elisa. Alright, first to Moga. I love little Moga's, like, little thing. Little voice. S same thing with Trent's. Trent's is cute, too. Alright, Super Sonic it is. <laughs> yeah, we're not pulling out, bro. Switching out. That's a better word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, muddy water it is. Aerial ace, a pretty good move. You and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. I know, right? Come on, hit it, hit, hit, get hit, get hit, get hit. Yes, you're dead now. <laughs> All right, first Amolga down. One more to go, and then Zip Strike is here. All right, little Amolga, little baby. Another aerial ice. We might need to heal after this. Yeah, we're gonna have to heal because I feel like if we get crit, Trent is dying, <laughs> and we don't want Trent to die. He's very valuable to the team. Alright, I don't know if that's low enough that they're going to heal as well, but we are going to. It says I use the potion. I think they if they use it too, theirs would go first. Okay. Wasn't enough for them to heal, but mud water. <laughs> oh god. I forget it's like goes first no matter what. I think Trent's slow. It's supposed to be like a bulky slow tank, right? I don't remember. <laughs> Seb Striker! Alright, no switching. Keep battling. We do have to heal them. <laughs> a proper dramatic victory requires a dashing danger in the pitch of peril. I can't believe I read that. <laughs> Alright, heal real quick. Alright. Quick attack, okay. Oh, I'm using mud shot on you. <laughs> it probably can only use this, pursuit, and oh my god, and flame charge. But flame charge won't do as much since we are a water type as well. Oh, we lowered its speed! I don't think we're gonna outspeed it though. We're going to heal though, because one more critical critical hit like that's gonna definitely kill us. Alright. Did we outspeed? No, we t <laughs> it keeps using quick attack, so even if we did outspeed, it would it would have not done anything. We did it! We took it down! Trent is amazing! Look at his little head. And he's level 30 now. <laughs> Look at those stats. Leader Elisa! I meant to make your head spin, but- oh. Okay. Thank you for the money, I guess. <laughs> I meant to finish that sentence, too. <laughs> my oh my, you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me, I- um- oh, here. I want you to have this. Let's fucking go! We got the fourth badge! And with only one Pokemon death, we're almost at clay. Looks so nice next to all my other badges. <laughs> if you have four badges, including the bolt badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including traded Pokemon, will obey you. 
Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it. Um, if you want to. Is she nervous? Am I making Elisa nerve? <laughs> I know, I'm too good. Full switch lets the Pokemon switch out to a different Pokemon after attacking. Of course, if you don't have another Pokemon in your party, you can't switch. You're going to Driftvale City, right? Of course, there's a Pokemon gym there after all. Oh, I bet you won't be able to get there. You know what? I'll fix that. So you can get across. Wait for me on Route 5. Alright! Trent is the go- I did not mean to press that switch again. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> God, we are lagging. It's fine. <laughs> We're gonna go heal. I can't believe we did it! We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it! Look at that. No problem with gym leaders. Just random Darmakas, apparently. <laughs> At least they stay on that route. They're not following us. Alright, heal my Pokemon, please. I forgot the level cap for clay, to be honest with you. But I'm excited. We get, um. We'll get two encounters in, uh. In Driftville City. There's one on Route 6, and then there's one in the cold storage. So. I'm very excited! Um, how's my team? Because I kind of want to battle Sharon. Uh, maybe we should take Eva out. Okay, how about this? We leave with B since he has sturdy. And then we'll switch if needed. <laughs> yeah, that's a good plan. Alright. We're gonna We're gonna beat the shit out of Sharon real quick. <laughs> he deserves it after all. Oh, doesn't a cutscene play afterwards? Hmm. I think it does. I think there is a cutscene right after we, uh... Right after this. Okay. Okay, well, let me go to the gate then. The gate should not be a problem. Also, because if you look on the bulletin board... Hero 5 Sunny, for Phil City, Sunny. A trainer from Nouvella Town challenged and successfully beat Elisa, the Nimbasa gym leader. Look at that. I do kind of, like, this is so cool that they put this much detail into, like, the lore. Just, like, what you'll see when you're passing by, like, routes and towns and everything. This is so cool. You see the little pictures? Very nice. What do you have to say about this, uh, nice environment? I wonder who writes the news on the bulletin board. That is a good point. Some, some guy out there is following us around with a pen and paper. He's like, alright, this, this fucker just challenged the gym and he won. But, alright, I know this is a shorter episode. But there's going to be a lot of cutscenes after we, well, we had to beat up Sharon. And that'll take a hot minute. And then there's, like, cutscene after cutscene. So I thought maybe just save it for all one video. So, we beat up Elisa. We only have one death. And we successfully beat up four gym leaders. So, our next stop is Route 5. Beat up Sharon, meet up with Elisa, get the bridge down, and go to Driftville City. And we get two more encounters. I cannot wait. I really hope one of them is a deerling. Because <laughs> deerling's super cute. And since um, my my time of my season now is, sp is spring, um... The spring deer line looks so cool with the uh, the cherry blossoms, and I like the I, I like it <laughs> because it's like pink and everything. It's nice. So, uh, in the next one, we'll do all that stuff I just listed. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.